Dr. Travis Gratton is joining us for this week's Pet Advice with University Veterinary Care Center. Good morning, Dr. Gratton. Good morning. Beautiful morning. It is a beautiful morning and an important topic. Fourth of July is just around the corner <laughs> and a lot of pets get some anxiety during that holiday. So yep. let's talk about some tips. What tips do you have for us? Sure. Um, yeah, we're seeing the tents go up already and the fireworks will be on yeah. sale and then it'll all get started uh, next week. So, um, you know, it, it can be a really terrifying time for a lot of pets. Um, we get kind of a big gamut. So, you know, a lot of s things we need to think about uh, ahead of time for our, our friends so that they can be comfortable and happy. Mm -hmm. And we're talking cats and dogs as well. Oh yeah, yeah, cats definitely do get it. We certainly see much, many more dogs with anxiety problems and destructive behavior and running away and that kind of thing. But there are a lot of cats that also suffer during the holiday season. So. Oh yeah, and we're we're seeing on the screen right now some uh, different tips that you have for us for just how to kind of help our pets during this time. Yeah, certainly, um, you know, dogs will run after fireworks. They will chase them. We see them bite them. <laughs> um, there, there are injuries, burns and whatnot. Um, you know, you wouldn't think they would do it, but they do. Um, you know, certainly for the mild cases, keep these guys indoors as much as possible. Um, basements are better. Keep some music playing. Keep the TV on. Um, keep the news station going. Yes. There you go. <laughs> um, certainly time things, you know, try to get them out and get them lots of exercise in the mornings before it really starts getting going. That way they're a little more tired. Maybe they sleep a little bit more. Maybe they ignore things during the day. Um, as they go up, you know, we've got to get, you know, that kind of evening potty break when things, there's a lull during dinner time yeah. before the really big stuff starts at, at nighttime. And unfortunately, it usually means we're going to be up late at night to get them out, you know, at, after midnight, usually one or sometimes two o'clock in the morning, or maybe we get up extra early and take them out in the middle of the night so that they can go to the bathroom and avoid those um, uh, accidents in the house because they don't want to go outside right. during this time of the, the year. So what about some of those more severe cases? So the more severe cases certainly can be more challenging. Um, you know, definitely be sure we don't reward their behavior with, um, you know, when, when they're getting anxious, it's just calm, stay calm, talk to them, um, try to distract them, play with toys, um, you know, do other things. Don't coddle them because we don't want to reinforce that behavior. Sure. Also, don't yell, scream, and punish them either because that just makes anxiety worse. Um, you know, if they're really bad, uh, medication potentially, you know, can be done. And I would you know, the newer drugs are much safer, uh, much more effective. They're, they don't just kind of zonk them out so that they can't really react to what they're still sensing, um, which a lot of the older tranquilizers actually made things worse for a, a lot of animals. Um, but, um, you know, plan ahead with that as well because veterinarians have been overwhelmed during the pandemic oh, and still are. So, um, because these are all prescription drugs, they're required, the patients are sure. required to be seen for these problems by federal and state laws. So, if you got to get your animal in before you can get a uh, fill on medication, plan ahead, call plan early. Ahead. Definitely. All right, Dr. So. Bratton, thank you so much for being with us today. We'll be back after this break.